Hi folks, let's talk acting and acting classes and actor training. First of all, if you're one of these actors that thinks you can just do it, yep, that's great. Some do. Most actors, to your surprise, actually have trained for years and years and years. Here's the difference and I want you to understand this. If I was approached by a swimmer right now and said, hey man, we're competing in three days, come join us, be in the race, I don't have a swimmer's body. I'm not an athlete. If a ballet dancer came up to me and said, hey, we're doing this amazing production in three days, come join us, you've got the lead, I wouldn't even bother. I don't have a, a, ballet, a ballerina's body. I don't have it. It takes years to get their body. Athletes, football players, whatever you like, years of training and consistency. For some reason, everyone thinks they can just act. I can pull over anyone from the street saying, hey man, he's a script, we're shooting in three days. They'll turn up, they'll memorize lines. So if that's all acting takes, then why bother with training? Most people don't know. It actually takes a lot more than just memorizing lines and how to say them. Okay, I've studied with Stella Adler herself many, many years ago in LA uh, at the Lee Strasberg Institute for many years, actor studio. I've studied individually with amazing teachers. I've seen brilliant actors work on film sets. I can name drop all day long. Okay, I've seen amazing actors on film sets and you go, wow, they've got an actor's body. I want you to understand this. Most of us avoid the stuff that takes long because it takes years to actually have an actor's body. It doesn't mean you don't go out there looking for work. Please understand that. Other stuff we need also, we'll talk about that. Now, first of all, don't fall in love with the school. When I went to Stella's and I went to Lee's, the school, and to this day, the actor studio, they're just shitholes. It's just a big square building or a big square room, usually painted black with a bare stage and a bunch of chairs. That's it, basic ingredients. What happens in that room is where the magic is. I went to a school here and they've got a life-size lamp. It must have cost them at least a grand. I tell people, you're paying for that stupid lamp. It's not about the bells and whistles and everyone gets sucked up in them. Oh my God, there's a beautiful place that must be doing something right. Who cares if the work isn't there? It's not about the stupid building. Now, forget teachers that either are abusive. Stella was very, very strict, not abusive. Mark Mono at the, actor, at the, the, the at Lee Strasberg Institute, very strict, not abusive. Here's the difference. Avoid teachers that go, tell us something about yourself. No, I don't have to. It's not about me exposing my life. It's about me using my ingredients privately to feed me. That's different. That's a skill. We'll talk about it very soon. Also, avoid teachers that tell you how to do things. I think you should do the line like this. I want you to look out and be very forceful. That's not acting. That's not an acting teacher. It's different if I say, I want you to do the line like this. And it's different if I say, listen, I want you to say goodbye to your lover, say goodbye to your daughter, say goodbye to your father. How you say goodbye is up to you. That's your job. And directors should listen up because too many do the other thing. Do it like this. Kazan, probably one of the best directors of his time, said, don't tell actors what to do. Put the furniture in the right place. They'll find it. Brilliant directing. That's why they hide you for your ideas. The point is, it's no good to have all these ideas up here. They used to say Marlon Brando had a four-lane freeway, meaning his ideas translated into the body. Most of us have a goat path. That's an actual quote from a director. What we mean by that is this. Most of your ideas will happen when you finish your audition because you relax. Oh my God, I wish I'd done this. I'd wait. Yeah, you visualized it one way, it came out the other way. As a painter, they visualize it one way, comes out the other way. Your skill is to bring this into reality. And that's a skill and you need an actor's body, just like an athlete does. Do you know what I'm saying? If you don't think about it, it just translates. One of the things you can do, and I've studied with many different forms, one of the best things to bring that attention is relaxation taught by Lee Strasberg. We have a video here on our page, it's called relaxation, check it out. When you think relaxation, it's not about walking around like this, I'm relaxed now. If I wanted you to relax, I'd say lie on the floor, go to sleep. Think of it more as awareness. Am I aware when I'm tuning out? Am I aware when I should be focused on this, but my mind is thinking something else? That's relaxation, being in the moment, feeling your body. That takes years to master. It takes consistency. Someone said to me, what's the point of being on a diet the day before your wedding? They're right. This takes years. So you get on a film set, you're all stressed out. People are yelling at you. You came late, da, 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 da. stress, stress, stress. Oh, relax, relax, relax. 
the ideas will flow. The other aspect of your work that you must do is called sensory work. Sensory work isn't just about recreating things, being in the rain, being in the cup. I want you to think of it like this, make things personal and private. Right now, it's raining. Probably you can hear in the background, in the voice. Right now, I look outside. I can look, let's say, go, I can feel a sense of freedom to be in the rain, to get no, not give a shit if you're getting wet or not. It feeds that, wow, freedom. Or I can be out there go, oh my God, it's cold, it's gloomy, it's miserable. That's a skill. How the rain translates to me is different. It's a choice, right or left, positive or negative. How to make the set personal and private. If the scene takes place in the bedroom, how do you make the bed private? What's on your bedside table? Is there tablets? Is there a photograph of someone you love? That's private information and you should do it because it feeds the character. See, but to have the idea appear and to have it in the body is what relaxation gives you. Sensory work is about making the set and the person you talk to private and intimate. That's a skill. You shouldn't be on the set memorizing lines. Anyone can do that. They're going to change the lines anyway. But to be on a set, to make this, to make this person in front of you, whoever you want to, whether it's a, a, a husband, a wife, a daughter, a, a, a parent, that's a skill and a craft. That's called sensory work and it takes years to master. You did this as a kid. You went into places, go, oh, I like this, it feeds me. Now to be able to sustain it with all the distractions, skills, takes years. The other thing you must all do is character work. What we mean by character work. Let's assume I'm doing Henry VIII. I always give this example. Henry VIII, big bravado, big muscles, different center of gravity than me. I can walk, we can all do Henry VIII for 10 seconds. We can all do, you know, Elvis for 10 minutes or whatever it is. But to have it in the body consistently, is a whole other thing. Look at uh, Sean Penny and Harvey Milk, brilliant, right? Many other examples, but you get it. To have their walk, to have their stance, to have the way they eat, to have the way they dress, that go on the streets as your character. Go sit in them, eat as them. How does your character eat? Do they slouch? To do it for a few seconds is nothing. To do it consistently is a craft. I remember Bradley Cooper saying that he worked on Elephant Man for about five years, and that was back then. I tell people, work on a character for years. Now I'm, I'm doing a role and it's the CEO of some accounting firm. I can channel, for lack of a better word, Henry VIII. It gives me a sense of bravado, gives me a sense of power. I walk in the room, hey, I answer the phone differently. That's called character work because he dresses differently. To have it up here is pointless. To have it in your script is pointless. To have it in the body is a skill. And most people avoid all this work because they go, mm -hmm, this takes forever. You know what I want? A quick result. Tell me how to do the line. Tell me a quick fix. Oh, one actor or one acting student or one I mean, acting teacher said, I should do this. I... Yeah, that's quick fixes. You can add those in the last minute. But if all these quick fixes aren't in the body, you don't have an actor's body. That takes years and it takes consistency. That's what you should be doing. And the other thing is this. When you're on the set and you have a visual of what you want it to look like and you open your mouth and you go, shit, where did that go wrong? Now I'm nervous, I'm pressured, the director's there, the producer's there, and now we panic and we start to push and it comes out even worse. That's when relaxation comes in. That's when a sense of trust that I trust that what I've worked on will just be there. That's why they say less is more. Less is more doesn't mean you do nothing. It means I've planned, I've created my sense of place. I've created my sense of character. I've created my connections to the material and the people. That's a skill and a crafting it takes years to master. Don't look for quick fixes. You can add those later, whether he says hello or hi later. I can change the jacket the last minute. But to translate from here to here is the rest of your life. And you're gonna pay the price and it's gonna, you're gonna realize it's too late. This is what takes years to master. I'm not saying don't go out there, look for work. Look for work now. Get involved in something, a short film, but do on a consistent level, relaxation, sensory work, all these things that get you out of your head and into the body. And finally, read a goddamn play, will you? One a week. We used to do one a day, we least one a week and act them out. Whatever you please, I want you to, as you're talking, to act out each character. Get into it. Find 
their voice, not here. You see people just changing their voice. No, that's not character work. I want you to find it in their hands, in how they walk, in how they talk. As you read a play, acting is active. It's in the body. That's what your acting study should be like. That's your habit. That's your workshop. That's your skill. Your stretching, acting muscle trumps everything. Take care. Talk, about, talk again soon.